My name is Benardita Salato. I'm a tree fruit extension specialist at Washington State University. Okay, so first of all, the WO38 trials or cosmic uh, or in the cosmic apple trials, we've done most of them in the Rosa farm at Prosser. And these, you might know, it was planted in 2013 with the purpose of evaluating a pruning system, training system, and rootstocks. And so we have randomized two different rootstocks, the M9, NIC29, and the G41. And we have three training systems, the spindle planted 12 by three, uh, by a, uh, vitrelli, sorry. And those are a double line, uh, planted uh, 12 also by one and a half foot apart over the row. And we have the biax, which uh, is 10 by three. So it's a very neat place for us to do research because it's randomized in terms of the rootstocks. And also it's one of the oldest blocks that we have uh, with uh, cosmic apples. So before I move on to all the results and trial, I need to uh, thank my research assistant, Juan Mungia. He is a former student at Oregon State University, and now he's my research assistant, and he's applying for doing a master with Washington State University, and he's been a tremendous help for all my, my trials. Okay, so now I'm going to get more into the green spot. This is a uh, work that I uh, started. Uh, you probably seen a publication that we released with Garrett Bishop last year with uh, samples collected from different sites. And these results that I'm going to show to you now are only taken from the ROSA. I did a very different type of analysis of the fruit. I will explain that later. And this is what we selected as the disorder because there are different levels of green spot. And there's one that is more like a russet type. So we wanted to define this one, which is the very rounded defined green spot. As you can see here, and is at the level where you have the damage in the peel, but you can also see the damage or necrosis or oxidation in the flesh of the fruit. So the way we've been doing it for two years, and we did it also this year, that we haven't included the data for the third year, but this is uh, two years of data where we compare in the spindle, which is the one that we have more problems with green spot, uh, the, the levels of green spot, and also what was the mineral composition of this fruit. As you can see here, before we move on, the fruit per tree in this uh, were not statistically uh, different in 2019, and the fruit size also was not different. So the way we did it, we strip harvest the whole tree. We had three trees multiplied by four replicates, so four blocks of each rootstock times three trees from each block were strip harvest, and we selected all the fruit, we uh, evaluated all the defects, including green spot, of course, and only the healthy and green spot apples was then taken to the lab for further analysis. And I'm going to go right into the results. I know these are uh, maybe too many tables, but uh, I, I felt that this was the best way to show because this is in relation of the balance between calcium and other nutrients. So in 2018, for G41, we uh, observed in the peel that all the green spot apples had higher levels of nitrogen, potassium, and magnesium. And here you have the p-value, which indicates the significance in terms of a, a statistical analysis. So those were statistically significant, uh, different, sorry, between the clean or healthy apple and the green spot. In 2019, the same uh, G41 in the peel, what we observe is that the potassium, calcium, and magnesium were not different, but uh, nitrogen was significantly different, again, with higher levels in the green spot up. And this was an analysis done only in the peel of the fruit. But there's different ways of analyzing fruit nutrient 
content, composition, concentration, and this uh, evaluation of nutrient contents in terms of milligrams take into the account the peel and the flesh, and then we calculate in relation to the allometry or the, the, the proportion of the tissue of each nutrient. So here, what we observe, and this was consistent uh, in both years, is that calcium levels were always higher in the clean or healthy apple. The same we observed in 2019, calcium was higher in healthy apples, but also we observed that green spot apple had higher levels of uh, content of nitrogen. So the balance between those two elements are uh, inadequate. Okay, so beside the difference between the systems and rootstocks and the healthy or conditioned healthy and, and green spot apples in terms of the nutrient composition, we wanted to see what, how the rootstock affect this nutrient composition in the fruit. So the way we did it, we did it for, for also for the green spot apples, but the results that I wanted to show here uh, is about the healthy fruit, just to see the difference between the two rootstocks in terms of nutrient uptake or nutrient extraction, which also consider the amount of uh, calcium or nutrients in the peel and in the flesh. And in here you can see that statistically uh, there were difference between G41 and M929 with all the elements being higher with nitrogen, potassium and magnesium for G41 and M9 was higher in uptake of calcium, which we believe it relates to that period of time where G41 uh, stays growth for a longer period of time, especially in, in a period where we irrigate more probably because it gets hotter. So there's more chances for that rootstock to uptake water, nitrogen and potassium. So I finished that with a, coming back to the system and the importance of managing that vigor. Uh, the rootstock has an influence, but when you do have a system that controls and you can manage the vigor, you can also manage the, the, the problem in the rootstock. So you have to balance and, and manage these many different factors. There's some, there's some green spot that looks very su uh, superficial. It's really on the surface. Do you think that's a mildew issue or you think that's still a, a green spot uh, calcium related issue? Yeah, that's a, a good question. And I think this is something that we did discuss with Garrett when we start looking to these different symptoms. We, the first symptom uh, article that we publish, you probably see that initial stage that we call green spot. I don't like to call it green spot anymore because I think it's very distinct from the round spot that is green and remains green in the middle and also affects the flesh. So I'm not so sure if they are the same thing or different, but I do think that the mildew, especially the mildew that is uh, early in the season, the effect, at least what I've seen in, in Cosmic, is uh, it doesn't show a green flecking, it's more a white, Kind of like netting in the flesh, I mean, sorry, in the peel of the fruit. I think it is different from the mildew symptomatology. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Bernadina. Awesome presentation.